Hey girl, hey, let's jump right into it and what is it? If you've seen the title of this little vlog, guys, are you going to use every single thing, every single thing that you have? Do you really use everything that you have? Like, stop and think about that right in the very intro and beginning of this video. Please ask yourself, do you use every, now catch what your girl said, do you use everything that you got? Everything. Come on. Be honest with me. Be honest with me. I am in my house. I cannot grab your hands. Um, I wish I could. Like if it was a thing. Because why am I saying that? Are you really using every single thing that you have in your house? Like ask yourself this. As you have been watching all of the videos. Whether the videos are from me. Whether they're from all of the girls, all of the guys, anybody, everybody. Do you use, do you use all of the things that you have in your house? Because I want to be transparent here. I am realizing day by day, like I have had to get rid of so much stuff. I've had to get rid of so much stuff because I've said it. In some of my videos like to know me really I, I i can openly admit it guys it's like it's giving hoarder vibes like it's giving hoarder vibes i have so many things and that's one of the reasons why i said i know a lot of the girlies they have um like when i first started getting exposed to the um, uh, planners and things like that i promised myself and I have been true to this, guys. I have been true to this. And what is that? I have not gotten deep down into planner stuff because I know myself. I know that it is a very easy for me to want to have, you know, I want to have this part, that part, all of the washi tape, all of this and all of that. And I'm like, listen, sis, you, me. You do not need another, another thing. And I'm turning, I'm realizing my cross is turned wrong. Um, I realized that I did not need another thing to focus down on and just get a million of them. Do you find yourself being like that? Are you a person like if you really like something? Because guys, I want to be true, be honest. I am a person that, like, if I like a shoe, I like a shirt, I like a jacket. I'm that girl that'll go and get every color. Okay? I will go get every color that I like. That 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 I like. And if you, you know, are you familiar with my face and seeing my face in the what's in my bag videos and just, you know, handbags in, in general, um you will know that I am a pink girl. Like I am a pink bag girl. I have a lot of pink bags. Um, Cause pink, like that really is my, it's really my jam. Okay. <laughs> but when you stop and you really ask yourself, like really, as you're watching this little video, if you're still here, do you use all of the things that you have? And if you realize that you're not using all of the things, you can ease it. Well, let me take that back. I was about to say easily. No, you can't. It's hard. It's hard. I will be the first one to openly admit it. It is hard to let things go sometimes. We have all type of sentimental value. We have all type of unnecessary feelings or thoughts attached to actual tangible things. And baby, when you really look at it, and I think a lot of people don't look at this. They look, they get, they get on and want to see different videos for motivation. You want to be motivated to clean up your space and do all the things. But let me tell you something. If you really stop and apply <clears throat> the thought that 
I've had these boots and these shoes in my closet and I haven't worn them spring, fall, or even winter time for the last four years. I really don't care who they came, who gave them to me or how much I paid for them, when I bought them. The thing I think a lot of us do not realize, having all of the things, right? That in itself makes, you, makes us subconsciously feel better. And I'll say that's for some people. Like for some people, have knowing that you have like more than enough <clears throat> on some levels gives you some type of feeling of like, okay, either I'm grown, I'm um, you know, I got my stuff together, um, a sense of being full, like I don't really, I'm not wanting for anything because in the areas of your life that you can control, like you can control for the most part, like your clothing, different things. Um, you can acquire things that's cheap or expensive, doesn't, doesn't matter. But if you see that you have a lot of them, then you don't feel depleted in that area. Now, you might have other things in your life that other areas where you feel depleted and it makes you feel some type of way. So things, having tangible things, guys, sometimes I feel like we, that's how it is very easy for us to just want to, just want to have a bunch of stuff that we are not really, really using. Having all of the, the stuff is just, a facade of really something else because when you really stop and concentrate and look at your spaces and all the things that you have when you have those things and you're actually able to use them and interchange them like i don't know if you guys have ever seen anybody like all of the videos all of the videos that that are out here on youtube about collapsible wardrobes. I think a collapsible wardrobe is such a vibe. Like it is such a vibe because you can take a few items and interchange things that you've always had and you can come out with things looking so nice and so unique and so well put together if you take a few items and you just literally put them on a wardrobe or run a a, a rack that kind of has wheels on it and you're able to interchange that you could give yourself a collapse if you have a lot of stuff you could give yourself a collapsible wardrobe literally every week or every two weeks um you could take your favorite pieces and just interchange them and Put things that typically don't go together, put them together. And guys, why am I saying that? Because if you're still here in this video, I don't know, you can't really see. But I have on a whole dress, all right? Believe you me when I tell you, I have on a whole dress that has, that's like a lacy situation. But I have on this jean jacket that is like shredded right here and then i have on what appears to be like a lot of jewelry and it really is not guys it is two pieces but the two pieces the gold necklace it has a few layered charms and there's just one there's this um pearl pearl cross and then i have my my favorite bangles so, and, and I'm finding myself, I'm going to the gold and creams and whites, um, bangles this week. Like I've, it's just been, it's been my thing. Um, and maybe because of, you know, my background or whatever, but it is so easy. Like it is so easy to take 
the things that we have and really zero in on what you have and things that you know they are dingy they are worn out you're not really going to wear that no more you can't fit it it's either too small or it's too big it's like girl get rid of that stuff get rid of that stuff and maximize your space um because when you get rid of all of the extra like you still can have extra believe you me if you if you like um a color if you like if you like color you can have a few pieces that's a you know a few colors and you can have the the earth tone things you can have whatever your heart desires but when you realize that you are not really enjoying your space and thoroughly using whatever space that you have to house all your things then guess what you're not using all the stuff that you have. Then you need to do what? You need to get rid of some of it, guys. You need to get rid of it. And I know this is the this is the um kettle something black. I I, I don't know. I just messed up that analogy. <laughs> that analogy, guys. But I can say this because I have been here. I have been right here at this. It has taken me quite some time to adapt the the feeling and the idea of getting rid of things but when i tell you i am so proud of myself within this year within this year um and last year guys with yeah within the last within the within the last whole year year and a half i've gotten rid of so many things like there was a time I'd be like, heck no, I ain't throwing that away. Or I just wouldn't have did it. And I still have a whole lot to get rid of. So guys, if there was any invalidity in this little vlog with me doing all of the talking and the rambling on, leave in the comments, do you use all of your things that you have? Until the next time, guys. Bye for now. My bracelet is stuck and I don't want to break it. Bye for now.